Hey everyone, this is Tracy from Paper Closet Designs and the Idea Closet. And today I thought I would just put together a really quick little video. Um, a question that I get asked a lot. We actually talked about this in one of my silhouette classes last month. But that is how to use score lines in Silhouette Studio. So today I created this little, um, it's a test tube holder. It's one of my files from Paper Closet Designs. And um, I'll tell you more about it. This little test tube, I found these little guys on Amazon and they just fit in here just nice and perfect. Um, you can't slide them in from the top, so you have to put them in and then put this piece on. I'll do a whole video tutorial on that later. But today I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about how to do the score lines. So um, instead of doing perforations on this, it's, you can't really see it. Um, but instead of doing the perforation lines, I have done score lines with my silhouette. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how easy it is to do that. Okay, so we are in Silhouette Studio. I'm using Business Edition, but this can be done in any edition that you have. And it works really well for the Cameo 3 with the two blade holders. I will show you at the end of the video how to use it if you only have the one blade holder, but um, it's it's pretty simple. Okay, so we're going to go to our open file and we're going to find the file that we need. I am using the test tube, the single test tube from Paper Closet Designs. All of my designs that come from Paper Closet Design, if they have a score line, I include a design space file for the Cricut, which includes the score lines. So typically, if you were using Silhouette, you would look at this and not worry about opening up the design space. You would go ahead and open up the SVG file. But for this one, we do want to use the design space because if I open it, you'll notice that the file has score lines. I'm going to open my score line file. And what that means is that instead of having the perforations drawn out, I have um, score lines. Now, if I were to send this to the silhouette right now, it would cut those lines just like it cut the outside, and we don't want to do that. Um, really quick, well, let's ungroup this. And then really quick, I'm going to get rid of these um, other pieces just so that we're not confused when I start showing you what we're doing. So these are the two pieces for the test tube, and you'll notice that they have the score lines. So what I need to do is I need to um, click on those score lines. Actually, first I need to ungroup it. And I need to ungroup this one. And now I'm going to click on those score lines. So there's on the one piece. If I hold my shift key, I can click on the second set of score lines. And I'm going to come up here and change my color. Now, the reason, first I'm going to change them to blue. You can do any color. I just like blue because it stands out a little bit, but you can do any color that you want. The reason that I do that is because when I send it to my silhouette to cut, um, I need to read those lines separately because I don't want them, I want one to score and one to cut. So we're going to open up our action by line. Click on that. Um, I don't know why I have two black lines up here, but it doesn't matter. So you'll notice that the outside line and the inner circle are black, and those score lines are blue. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to where our blue line is, and we're going to actually change it to Tool 2. Now this is if you have the Cameo 3 with the two blade holders. We're going to change the tool to two, which is the blue circle. And then under action, I'm going to hit my drop down and click on score. If you come down here, you'll notice that um, under my blue tool or my blue line, excuse me, I'm at score. I still need my ratchet blade, but I'm going to turn this setting to one. And what that will do is when I send it to Silhouette, it's just going to barely um, draw that line. It's not going to be deep enough to cut through, but it's going to put a nice smooth score line in my paper that I can fold it on. 
And then when I click up here on my black, you'll notice that it's still gonna cut. I need a ratchet blade and I'll have that one at setting three. So if you're using the Cameo 2, you'll have two blades two, um, in, your, in your machine. Now when you're cutting, you could do the automatic blade if you would rather, um, or you can do the ratchet blade, whatever. When you do the scoring, you need to have a ratchet blade. The automatic blade doesn't work near as well. And I've had people ask me about the scoring tool for the Curio because it will fit in your Silhouette machine, but it's not deep enough, it doesn't work. So don't, don't try it or try it and, and you'll find out that it doesn't work. Okay, so now if you do not have the Cameo 3 that has the two blades and you've only got one blade, first off, your tool section right here won't show up. But what you can do is after your black line, you can click on it and then you can come down here and add a pause. And you'll notice that you get a pause. So when you send it, it's gonna cut your black line. It's gonna pause it so that you can change the setting on your blade and then hit resume and then it will cut score, excuse me, that blue line. One other thing I want to show you while I'm in this window, let's remove our pause and go back to tool two. So let's say that you wanted to score your material before you cut it. It doesn't really matter what order you do it in, but sometimes people like to score first. I usually score first. That way if my paper slips just the tiny hair when I'm cutting it, you know, Sometimes it does that, the score lines are already there. So in, the best way to do that is you're just gonna click on this line and you're gonna move it up. And now it's gonna score first and then it's gonna do my two cat lines, except it's really only gonna do one. I'm not sure why that's showing up. Again, if I only had the one machine, I could score it at my pause and then cut. Okay, so let's go back to our design window because I want to show you something else. So if you are using an image that does not have score lines, it has perforations, but you want to change them to score lines, you can also do that. The easiest way to show you that is we're going to go to File, New Project Wizard, and I'm going to open up my card base. So you'll notice that my card base has this perforation line right here. So if I were to send that to Silhouette right now as is, it would cut the outer edge of the card and then it's going to cut little perforation marks all the way down the middle of my card, just like we're used to in almost all of our projects. But if I want to do the score lines, all I'm going to do is click on this to select it and ungroup it. Then I'm going to click on these perforation lines. Once again, I need to change the color. So I'm going to do blue. You can do whatever you want. But then we need to change this perforation line to a solid line. And now it's going to do exactly the same thing as um, before. If I go to my sand and do line color, You'll notice that I have the two lines. <clears throat> I have the red line and now I have the blue line. I'm going to put it in tool two and I'm going to hit my drop down and do score. And then when I hit sand, this also will cut out the red and then score the middle. And I can change the order again if I need to or I can add a pause button. So that is how simple it is to score your projects in silhouette. Thanks for joining me today.